What's up guys, today we're going to talk, uh, talk about how we can set up multiple applications that are running on different ports uh, to be accessed through port 80 using Nginx. So in the last one, we set up a reverse proxy for an application that is running on port 3000 and we were able to access that application without specifying the port number which is actually the port 80. So in this application, what I have done now is I have just copied the same application and just changed the name. So it's the same hello application. I have changed the name one to linker and one to codify. And we're going to run the same application on two different ports, one on 3001 and the another one on port 3002. So it's the same application. All we have done is we are running on different port this time these two application and we have just changed the header so that we can figure out it's a different application by the output that we get uh, when we access the application so on the linker application that we will run on port 3002 this uh, we have changed the heading to linker app on the codify we have changed the header to just codify app and we will running codify on port 3001 and linker on port 3002 so our hello application is already running on port 3000 you can see it's running on 3000 and we will now run this codify on 3001 and this linker linker on port 3002 so let's run those two application actually the same application we are just changing the header and running on different port the same application so we have already running this uh, hello application on port 3000 now let's uh, go back one directory and get into codify application and if you do an lsl so just start this application node.js server js and it will run on port 3001 again it will be the same application just we have changed the headline in this case so we can access it on localhost 3001 so it's a codify app and this one was hello app so let's run another one which we have copied just change the name so let's go back one directory and get into linker and do node.js server js it will run on 3002 so we can access this application on port localhost uh, 3002 linker app so linker app codify app and our hello app the same application running on three different ports so now uh, we are able to access hello app on localhost 80 by because we have configured this to be accessed now how we want to now we want to access these applications also on port 80 so we don't want to specify these port numbers 3001 and 3002 uh, to client to specify these ports we want clients to just simply access this application without even knowing that these applications are running on port 3001 and 3002 so what we actually want is so if they access localhost they will get this codify app uh, hello app but if they specify localhost codify they should be able to access this codify app currently it's not configured but we want to configure it like this and if they say linker they should be able to access linker application it's like uh, usually what you see if there is some site abc.com they will have a blog which can be a separate application and they can have a forum which can be a separate application running on a different port so like this so if it's a forum we want uh, a separate application to run and uh, nginx should take care of that so in our case we want uh, for right now localhost to be a hello app localhost should go to localhost should go to uh, that hello app and localhost codify should go to the codify app and and localhost linker should go to linker app so depending on the url we can configure nginx to uh, 
forward the request to different application that are running on different port. So let's see how to do that. And where is that file? Uh, it's here. So if you remember in previous video, we created a node app file in sites available. So we're gonna just edit that file. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say okay so here we have to create another location thing location context I can say so let's create that so in this case our location will be anything uh, that starts with codify and should go to our application that is running on port 3001 so for that to work we have to specify a rewrite rule and it should be anything that starts with slash codify and after that anything can come like codify slash uh, block one codify slash block two anything can come then that app uh, that request should go to our application that is running on port 3001 so dot and then star for anything we can ex accept and then dollar symbol which is special syntax dollar one and break if that pattern matches break here don't look for any other pattern and then we will specify the proxy so proxy pass and it will be http 127.0.0.1 and port will be 3001 and we will just close this location tab uh, context and I think we are good to go and I'm just gonna save this and we have to reload the nginx service so let's do that we will define for linker and that configuration later let's first see whether this works or not so sudo edc uh, and at the and nginx and just say reload so not here we are not stopping and again starting nginx we are just reloading so you don't have to uh, stop and start nginx again and again so reload and reloading and it was okay so if anything happens uh, if your syntax is wrong for configuration it will fail so in this case it was okay so let's see on port 3000 so now this application we should be able to access by saying localhost and that starts with codify yeah so we are able to access this application with specifying the pattern that we specified in the configuration file so localhost 3001 codify app and we are able to access this application using this url codify so let's see the configuration file again you will be able to see so we are specifying anything that starts with codify should go to this and uh, should go to this application which is running on port 3001 and and one more thing this is very important rewrite rule because if you remember codify app it just takes request for slash it it's not looking for slash codify so it's not looking for something like this it's just looking for slash so that's why we have put that rewrite rule there so what it will do if request is coming for anything that starts with codify and after that anything can come so if it, it, it starts with uh, slash codify and there is after that there is a string of characters then we are only taking that string of characters after codify so it will be slash or anything after slash 
that will be mapped to this application that is running on 3001. So I hope you understood this and let's now create uh, one for that last linker application. So let's point uh, for that application some next URL. Okay, so okay, so I think we should map it to linker. I have named that app linker. So any request that comes on slash linker, we will map that request to our application that is running on port 3002. So let's rewrite the rule so that uh, our uh, uh, server.js which is looking for any request that comes on slash can uh, take that request because we have to rewrite the rule uh, because actual request will be coming on slash linker slash something so we have to uh, take back that linker part and just anything that comes after linker we have to take that then only we are uh, our application will be able to uh, access uh, and respond back to the request so anything that starts with uh, linker anything that starts with linker and after that any kind of any number of characters can come then we are gonna break it and we are gonna only take uh, the string of characters that comes after slash linker that's what our uh, our application is designed to take proxy class and http we will map this to 127.0.0.1 and this application is running on port 3002 and just close this location now and let's just save this file so now if you we haven't yet reloaded so we cannot now say just uh, linker because we haven't just uh, so even this request is going for slash linker you can see slash linker but our uh, application is designed to take only so if you see the linker application it can take slash only not slash linker so this is why we have created that rewrite rule so now we gonna just reload the uh, nginx we have saved the file just reload reload is okay now if you go you will be able to access the linker application with this url so creating different urls we can access the application uh, different application that are running on different ports internally so localhost will give you this hello app and localhost slash uh, linker will give you linker app and localhost slash codify will run the codify application so we have configured multiple application on the same port depending on the url that is requested so again if you see that file you can figure out for which url which uh, application will be running so if slash so it's on localhost slash this 3000 and uh, that's application that is running on 3000 will be uh, handling th that request if it's a slash codify something that will be handled by 3001 if it's coming for slash link or something it will be handled by 3002 so that's how we can configure multiple application uh, running on same port looking for same port uh, depending on different request URL that comes in so in the next one we will be uh, configuring different web apps uh, depending on their host name so in the next one we will be configuring multiple servers in case in this case we have just one server that is listing on port 80 and depending on the request it's uh, uh, transferring the request to different applications so we will see that in the next video